Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Shalonda and this is Saving with Shalonda. Hello to all my returning subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you guys for being here. I'm coming on with my uh, weekly budget with me. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, keep on watching. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and smash the like button because you're gonna like and you're gonna love this video. Be sure to leave me some comments below. Be sure to watch the ads that play throughout the video and share my video. All right, so let's hop into it. So um, today I'll be um, budgeting for my side hustle income, guys. So I'll be showing you um, budgeting my Etsy pay, okay? So I'm using the So Crafty Sana Payday Budget Book, okay? So let me go ahead and turn to our page here. Like I don't use like a lot of these sheets in this book, guys. May mainly just like the um, the budget breakdowns and things like the payday budget sheets, because it's a lot of stuff in this book, guys. But like I said, once I get better at planning, I may try to venture off and use more of these sheets if I can find the sheet I'm working on. <laughs> All right, here we go. Where is it at? I should have put a tab, guys. There, okay. So like I said, this is like for cash envelopes and sinky funds. Every pay period, I don't do all that, guys. Okay, so here we go. So this is the sheet that we'll be using. I wish I could. Well, no, you can't really fold it over. Like, yeah, you can. Okay. So there you go. So uh, today is the is Saturday, the uh, 9th, but we're going to uh, backdate this to yesterday's day because I usually do my budget with me on Fridays, which y'all know how I be. Stuff come up, so we're going to backdate it to yesterday, okay? And so um, let's see. We're going to put for my income for this week, we're going to put Etsy. And then, guys, use like I said, usually each week I pay myself uh, $500, depending on sales and things like that. So, like I said, thank you so much for um, always supporting my Etsy shop um, and supporting my YouTube channel, of course. I appreciate the support, guys. It means the world to me. So, all we have is our Etsy income here. So, it would be $500. And then we'll come over to... Um, I usually don't do bills on my channel, guys. I usually use this section as my cash envelope section, okay? I haven't put my stickers on there yet or my labels to change it. But we'll go ahead and put our category. So we have groceries. Um, is that $100 per week? Um, gas. Is that $20 per week? Household. Also at $20 per week. Nothing changes here pretty much, guys. Um, I get, so my personal envelope, I get $20 a week. Jordan, my 13, soon to be 14-year-old son, his birthday is on, what, Monday, guys? He gets $20, okay? Takeout, we're $25 per week. Uh, giving is $5, like I said, in case I see someone when I'm driving on my way home. And then um, miscellaneous is to cover the other I's and N's, and that is at $10, okay? And so if we get our calculator, we'll go 100. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 420. So that's minus plus 80, plus 25, plus 5, plus 10. So total cash envelopes to 220. We'll go here, okay? And so we will take our total income of 500, minus 220 and that leaves us 280 for our savings challenges so we'll go ahead and put that over in this box here we know our total amount will be 280 all right and like i said there's a payday debt box here but i normally don't use this section i just apply what i want to through our sinking funds at the end of the month when we take all the money that we save then we redistribute it that that way it's like i said a lot of boxes i don't use on these um sheets but it's a beautiful book love it still okay <laughs> i stay organized in some type of way so um with the payday savings we're going to go ahead and write out my game schedule for this week which is pretty much the same like in case you guys want to um join in with me okay I'm going to put a line item uh, for my heat book, okay, so I can play games in there, like my signature games and my um, sinking fun games and things like that. I'm going to put um, Saving with Shalonda Sunday. It's $50, okay. Uh, Monday is Self-Care Monday. 
and that's at uh, $25 per week. And like I said, this is money that I save for myself and that I spend it the following month, okay? So save to spend, basically, okay? Um, this is Monday. Then $2 Tuesday is at $10, okay? And then row with a Wednesday is at $25. And then this is when I play my DIY kits that I sell on Etsy, guys. I know, like I said, for this month, I'm just going to uh, pick and choose ones until I release my next kit, okay? So whatever I want to play basically is up for grabs. <laughs> and then let's see. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put the casino game separately, I think. And I'm going to put um, it at $40 this week. And then whatever else left. Oh, wait, did I put, let's see. Yeah, we'll leave it like that. We'll put 40. Okay, so here we go. So we got 280 minus 40 minus 25 minus 10 minus 25 minus 50. Okay, so that leaves us 130 to work in our heat book. And like I said, this will be Signature Games, um, Thinking Fun Games, and Bingo. So within that 130, so I'll probably do 50, 50, 30, okay, for that distri distribution, okay, guys? So that is how it's working, all right? So that is our budget for this week. So we'll go ahead and close this out up here. So our income for the week, we're going to move this number here. So it's 500 in total. Like I said, no bills are done on our channel, so that's zero, so we'll write our 500 here again. Cash envelopes um, are 220. So we do 500 minus 220 is 280. Okay, so that leaves us 280 here. And then for saving challenges, we have 280 in our box here. So we're going to put that here. And then 280 minus 280 takes us down to a zero base budget. And like I said, no debt payments there. So that is correct. So let's go ahead and count our money. Okay. We got one, two, three, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 95, 500. Okay. So $500. Now I'll go ahead and get this into the tray back here. Then I'll go ahead and stuff my wallet, guys. Okay, and like I said, with stuffing our wallet, we are going to play a few little games, all right? So I'm going to bring my um, heat book up to pay, play some of my cash envelope games that are in my book. <clears throat> like I said, guys, the games in my book, they're um, you can use them as regular challenges and stuff. I just use them as my cash envelope games to make my budget with me a little bit more fun, but I don't read. Um, record the amounts on the tracker guys <clears throat> but i will show you if you wanted to do it okay to use these as individual standalone games but like i said they're my cash envelope game but what i consider cash envelope game so here we go i'm gonna bring my stuff closer and we're gonna get we're gonna get going on our game i feel right game i ain't gonna play all of them guys okay <laughs> so i'm gonna come back to grocery i'm gonna play that last but gas is getting twenty dollars so we'll go ahead and put 20 in here. And then we'll go ahead and do a couple of the gas tanks to knock them out. Okay, let me find my marker. Let's see, I'll use this blue one. Okay, so we need an eight-sided die because we got eight gas tanks and then we need a color die to see which ones we'll be marking off. So like I said, we have $20, guys, <clears throat> to play with. I do have some prop money here. We can play it with that. I just use a calculator, guys, okay? <laughs> so like I said, this is 20 bucks. So you can see how to play if you were playing like for real, for real, for real. Okay. So here we go. All right. So we got green tank number three. Okay. So we're going to mark off a green gas tank that's worth $3. And then we'll cash the $3. Okay. So like I said, if you had a gas sinking fund or something like that, or even if you want to use this to use as your card maintenance fund, you can play this game for that as well. We got blue number seven. All right, we'll mark off a blue gas pump that's at seven and save seven dollars. All right, so here we go, seven. Let's go again. All right, we got blue number four, I mean, red number four. Here's a red four here. And then, like I said, we'll save four dollars. All 
All right, then let's see how much we got left, guys. See if we can actually roll one, two, three, four, five, six. We only got six dollars left, so we're gonna just do six, and we're gonna choose a color. We're gonna roll for our color, guys. Time for our last six dollars. We got purple. All right, so we'll mark off a purple tank and save our last six dollars. And like I said, now our cash envelope has been stuffed properly, and we played our coordinated game to go with it. But like I said, if you were saving for your, um, like something for your car or your gas, you had a gas sinking fund, guys, you would come to your guy gas here and you would put $20 in that you're saving, okay, towards a sinking fund. But like I said, I'm not saving, so I'm just playing, okay? All right, let's do our next category. <clears throat> Household is 20 also, so we're gonna stuff our $20. And then, like I said, again, we're, we're playing. Because <laughs> we play games here, guys. We love games, okay? Any excuse we can get to play games to make saving fun, guys, we're going to use it, okay? Any chance we get. So we got the cleanup woman to play for our uh, toiletries and things like that, household items, all right? And so we're just going to do, uh, this is just a roll and save, guys. So we'll just roll so we can get out of here. So two. All right, we got, let's see, one, two. This one is a $6 icon, so that'll be six bucks. Six bucks a rouge. All One is a bleach. This is almost finished, guys. Bleach is worth $3. Okay. Five. We got one, is that it? Two, three, four, five. Fabric softener is five. So one, two, three. And we got five here. Okay. And then we'll roll one more time. Let's see how much we got. Wait, wait. <laughs> Make sure we got at least six dollars. Two, three. Okay, we got six dollars, which is perfect in case we land on the highest icon there. Two, okay, we were here. So we got one, two, okay. There we go. So that is five dollars, all right. And then we got one dollar left, guys. And so we're just gonna go to um, But First Coffee and um, mark off a coffee cup on there. All right, we got an extra dollar, so we'll just put a one in our coffee cup here. But first coffee, let's roll for it to see what it would have been. It would have been even, but we just marked it, so that's how we do that, guys. But like I said, we we don't do IOUs, but like I said, for the household um, one, clean up woman, you can use it as a household thinking fund, guys, okay? And then, like I said, you'll come to your tracker. If you had whatever amount you had for the week, you would put it here, clean up woman, and save that amount. But like I said, these are just games to me for my cash envelopes. Another fun way to save and make the budgeting products process fun. Okay. Uh, saving with Shalanda. So me, I'm getting $20 for personal. Let's go ahead and we're going to play a little bit of um, pothead. Okay. So let's roll. Okay. So I got my $20 set up for my budget. All right. I'm going to just roll two. All right. We got one, two. Well, we just don't even not. So this is even. So that's $2. Uh, $1. Six. One, two, three, four. A oh, six is even, guys. I want to count. Why do I want to count? <laughs> so there's another $2. All right. One. I right. A dollar. Okay. Two. A dollar. Okay. Let's do one more here. Three. Uh, I a dollar, okay. So we'll head over to another game for me. So if I hit it, just like I said, even or odd game. Like I said, if you have, you know, coffee sinking fun, guys. Y'all look like y'all sinking funds. <laughs> do what you do. <laughs> like I said, you can use these these games to go to any sinking fun that you want. All right. So here we go. Let's see. Let's play red bottoms, guys. All right. I think I'm going to change my amounts to um, one and two, okay? 
So let's go ahead and do um, red bottom is going to be um, $2. And so I, if I roll I, no, I'm going to pay $1 for red bottom and $2 for other colors, okay? For even. So here we go. We got I, so $1, and those are red bottoms, okay? That's like an orange guy thing. Hold on. <laughs> Wrong marker. <laughs> All right, that's red. All right, here we go. Let's go again. All right, more red bottoms. Another dollar. Even. So we color any color. And it's going to be $2 for those. One. All right, red bottoms. So a dollar. All right, red bottoms. Okay, we're doing good, guys. We got four. We collected four pairs of red bottoms already, guys. <laughs> there we go. Dollar. All right, let's see. Can we uh, even? Okay, so two. And we'll go ahead and color in any color. All right. And then the last game we'll play, we'll go ahead and, um, I got $4 left. I'm going to put it into nailed it. Okay. So we'll roll a couple times in here, coloring a few nails, see what we can get. So we need our color dice and our black dice. Okay. We got yellow even. So it's going to be $2, guys. And we're going to color in two of our nails yellow on the yellow hand. Okay. Okay, that's our, fine, our last $2, so we're going to color in two nails on the orange hand, guys. Okay, so now we have stuffed all of our personal money, guys. Okay, so now we'll move on to Jordan's um, personal money as well, and we're playing um, the zoo game for him. For my little zoo animal, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. This one is almost finishing up as well. So we use the, uh, let me go to stuff. All right, so again, we need the color dice and a black dice. So whatever color plus a dice you um, line up, that's what you're going to say. All right, and we got $20 budget here. So we got six in blue. The six is gone on this blue, so we need a one, three, or a five. One, two, or five, two. Okay, so two dollars. So we'll cross out the two dollar ticket there. Purple number five. We only have the purple number three. All the purples are gone, guys. Let me mark those down like that. Okay, all the purples are gone. Red number six. We'll do the six dollar ticket here. Okay. Uh, orange number four, we'll need five and six. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's count how much we got left, guys. Okay, we got enough to do. We got six dollars left, so we can roll, still roll. Okay. Green number four. We only have, oh, that's what the one we had left, guys. Green number four. Okay, so four dollars, and then we have two dollars left. Who has a two dollar left? Only red has two left, so we're going to assign that to red. Okay, so there we go, and that is how you play the zoo game. And like I said, I'm using this, um, you can use it like towards family fun or something like that, or anything like that's what I plan to use it for if I was doing it separately. Like I said, come to my tracker, type, put my amount in zoo, and like I said, you can allocate it towards whatever sinky fun you choose. But like I said, I made it, designed it like towards family fun, okay. I thought that would be cool. All right, takeout is getting 25. Let's see, did I clean our party of eight, guys? I don't know. I played it in a minute, I don't think. Uh, let's go ahead and try it, okay? <laughs> so we got $25 we get to play here, okay? Let me get my money together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alright, I need five more dollars. Alright, we got a $25 budget, guys. 
Let me get two more. I'm going to be two. One. All right, so here we go. We're going to just get the, the open seats we have left. So we need, let's see, red the table. Red table is all we got. Okay, yellow table is gone, guys. Okay, so let's keep going. Okay, we got a blue table, and the only table see we have left is number seven, so we'll take number seven out. Okay. Okay, so peace and lean that table. Okay, let's see what else we can knock out. Let's see. All right, the yellow table is gone, guys. Let's see what we can get. Orange table. We got a four. Okay, we need a six or an eight. Six. Okay, six dollars. Okay, blue table is gone, guys. Green table. We need a five, six, or eight. Okay, two, three, four, five. And let's see what we got left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, we got seven dollars left. Let's see. Hmm. All right, I think I'm just going to. I'm just think I'm gonna go to this table here and take out that seven. Okay. Let's just roll, try to see, can we roll purple? We got seven, roll purple. There we go, all right. <laughs> so there we go, our last $7. So now we spent our um, takeout money properly, okay? Next category we'll be stuffing is um, giving. It gets $5. And then miscellaneous gets 10 So that's $15, guys, that we can uh, play with. So let's see. Okay, let's finish up because I said so. So we got about, we got fifteen dollars, guys. Okay, so let me find my scratch off tool. Where is it, guys? All right, I don't know where my scratch off tool is. I'm gonna pull my stickers up so <laughs> we can finish this. <laughs> All right. Uh, Wrong thing. Then we got three on here left, guys. Four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Oh, where am I? Let's see what this is, guys. All right, we got our first sewing machine, guys. So, I mean, our icons are double now, okay? We only got two left. One. There we go. So whatever this is, it's gonna double. Okay, we got the spool of thread, so it's double now, so it's worth $2, okay? <laughs> and then, let's see. We got, this, this last one is a sewing machine, guys, so we really don't have to pay for that one, so we're just gonna take it off of here. I'm gonna take it off later, guys, but we gonna go ahead and play um, Sudoku, a little bit of this, I haven't played this in a minute, okay? Like I said, because I said so, can be used as a sinking fund for arts and crafts and things like that, guys, okay? So whatever you choose it to be. Like I said, we still got $13 left, but we're not going to play $13 of Sudoku. We'll be all day, okay? <laughs> but y'all know me and my game, y'all. Y'all know how I do, okay? One, two, three, four. Okay. All right, here we go. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to, um, we gotta roll our purple dice, and roll color dice and our number. So we're in green, board number two, Sudoku puzzle number two, and then we're gonna roll to get one of these numbers to um, mark it out, okay? We got a two. There's a two available, so we'll mark off that two, okay? And then we're playing each of my numbers is um, 25 cent. Okay, so we'll, we'll do a couple of those. So that's our first row. Green board number two again. I need a one or a six. One, okay. Purple number one, puzzle one. We need a two, three, or a six. 
Okay, six. All right, we're up to 75 cents. So this is our fourth row right here. Green, puzzle number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. We need it here as a six, so that's four numbers, so we'll save a dollar that way. So four turns is a dollar, okay? And then, like I said, whenever you complete an actual six-pack, you'll save a dollar. Let's go again. Okay, purple puzzle two, one, two. We need a one, six, four, five. There's a one. Red number one, okay. Four, there's a four. All right, that's two. Puzzle four. One, two, three, four. There's a two. Okay, this is our last, this is our fourth turn for a dollar. Okay, blue. Puzzle two. One, two. We got a six. All right, so that's four turns. So there's another dollar. Let's go again. Orange. Puzzle four. One, two, three, four. One. Okay. Yellow puzzle five. One, two, three, four, five. Two. Two. Um, blue puzzle three. One, two, three. Six. There are no sixes, guys. So again, three. All right. And then our final turn here. Let's see. Um, green puzzle four. One, two, three, four. And two. Okay, there's two, so that's our fourth turn. So another dollar going towards that game. All right, and then we're just gonna um, double back to just play nailed it, guys, so I can get rid of this extra money that I have. All right, so here we go. We got what eight, ten dollars left. So let's just do nailed it. Okay, green. All right, so green is I, so we're going to do one nail, guys. I need to get my, my <laughs> markers back at this table, guys. I'm at the wrong table. All right, <laughs> so that's one dollar. <laughs> All right, red number five. Red is I, so one nail, a dollar. All right, we got um, yellow number six. So that's two nails, so even. Okay, blue number, we got odds so at one nail. Okay, um, orange number three, odd. So that'd be one dollar as well. Okay, blue number two, so two nails. All right, two dollars. Last two dollars. Okay, blue number um six, and this is our final two. All right, so two dollars, and then we'll proceed to our final um, category. We need the stuff, guys, which is my groceries. The, the video is almost already thirty minutes, guys. So I'm going to end it here. So I won't be playing a grocery game this week, unfortunately, because I don't want it to be too long, guys. Okay. <laughs> so there we go. Trying to cap these at thirty minutes. So. I um, put my money in there and let's go ahead and stuff our um, game uh, savings challenge binder as well. There should be $280 left. So 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. Going into the front pocket of my savings challenge binder. And we'll get that money spent this week throughout our, in our games. All right, I am done here. Enjoy your day, guys. Um, I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.